In today's video, we are going to install Octopress in our Mac Maverick system. So, first step is we go to Octopress uh, setup page, so octopress.org and then slash docs slash setup. And in this page, you can read uh, the instruction. And it sounds scary, but it is not. And before we begin, the first step is uh, here, it says that we are going to install Git. So, let's do that. Now, here, as you can see that the latest stable version release is 1.9.0 and here we're going to uh, hit download button so going to download it and as you can see before we open our file that here we are downloading the 1.8.4.2 and it, actually the newest is uh, 1.9.0 first we're going to open our downloads folder to see where our uh, new downloaded file which is git and then we're going to open it by double clicking it and double click the pkg file and install it just hit continue and install enter your password so now the installation is successful we're going to hit close and close all and eject the disk and delete this before we forget and as I mentioned earlier this new kit is installing 1.8.4.2 now we have actually 1.9.0 version so if I go to this URL so git and then dash s cm.com and slash download it says that we can already uh, get the latest version of kit itself by uh, copy and pasting this to our terminal. So we're going to open our terminal and there it is our terminal so we're going to open the preferences to modify the font size and here is our terminal we're going to type in or to paste the code that we've just uh, copied here from uh, kit website. We're going to hit return to uh, install or to clone the newest version of git so when it's cloned then we're going to type in git and then um, dash dash version and as you can see this is using 1.8.3 if you don't have it you probably don't have Xcode installed in your computer. I have this Git version 1.8.3.4 because I install Xcode which you can install from uh, App Store but we install just 1.9.0 so how we get there. Now if I type in on which Git it will also show me that uh, the kit which is, is used or, or shown in this system is inside this folder which I don't want that. I want to use the newest of uh, the kit that I've just downloaded. How we can get there? What we're going to do next is we're going to uh, open our um, uh, bash profile so by uh, typing nano in um, tilde and then slash and then dot and bash and underscore profile and hit return and it will show us the empty bash profile in our user folder. So here in this that, uh, in this uh, dot bash underscore profile file we're going to copy and paste the code that I will provide you. So it's basically changing the path to our uh, newest uh, kit that we've just installed it, which is 1.9.0. So after we uh, modify this uh, dot bash underscore profile we're going to save it by clicking on control and O key and hit return or enter and then exit it by uh, clicking Control X and we we are back in our terminal and uh, exit our terminal by typing exit and then uh, quit our terminal and restart our terminal again and now if we type in of git and then uh, dash dash version and it will show us the newest version that we've just downloaded by uh, because we've just modified the best profile and now if we type in on which git and it's as you can see now it show us in the local so it's not using the system which is preferred in case uh, in my case so the next step is we go to back to octopress and because we've just installed kit and configure create uh, which 
kit that we want to have. Now the next step is we install Ruby 1.9.3 with uh, RP uh, fee or RVM. So I'm going to check my terminal again and type in uh, Ruby and then dash dash version and it shows me the default Ruby uh, on my system. If I type in on which Ruby and it shows me as well that it has Ruby inside my system folder but I don't want that. I want a Ruby in my local uh, as well as the kit that we've just installed it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Ruby version management tool and I would prefer RVM but you can use RPN fee if you want but for now I'm just going to use RVM and if we click that it will then uh, show us what kind of Ruby we want to install and how so it says that Ruby version manager because with that manager in this tool we're going to uh, choose which Ruby we want to have now we're going to copy and paste that into our terminal and hit return and it will install the most uh, recent Ruby as you can see in my system now it's still using 2.0 so once we're done, we're going to uh, see this kind of page and we're going to run this command to load the script. So copy and then paste it here and hit return or enter and now it's uh, loaded. So if I, go, if I type now which Ruby and it shows me that Ruby inside my user uh, name. So it's not using the system which I prefer at this point and then next step is uh, if we got now uh, RVM so, uh, already and install the stabilis Ruby next step is we're going to install Ruby 1.9.3 uh, so I'm going to type in RVM and then install and then um, 1.9.3 and hit return so once we're done installing Ruby version 1.9.3, it should look like like this, mindless. And then next is we're going to um, uh, point out that we're going to use the Ruby and use 1.9.3 as mentioned here. And then hit return or enter. And now that we are using uh, this version inside my username and not using the system. Ruby and the next is we're going to type in RVM which is here uh, Ruby gems and latest so once we are done next we're going to set up page again and here the fun part begins so we're going to install octopress now here it says that we're going to copy and paste this one so copy copy and then paste that inside our terminal but this will install uh, octopress inside your username folder but i don't want that i want to install in my documents folder so uh here i'm going to install here in documents folder now we're going to navigate to documents using terminal so if we type on ls it will list all the folders in inside my username i want to go to the documents i can type cd and then documents and as you can see now i'm I'm inside the documents itself and then here I'm going to copy and paste the code that I've just copied from Octopress block and then I'm going to hit return and enter it will cloning our Octopress to our uh, documents folder and now once we're done we check in our documents it will have Octopress folder here so the next step is we're going to inside that Octopress folder going to CD Octopress and we are inside Octopus folder. Now we're going to install the dependencies, which is uh, this uh, command. So we're going to in, uh, type in gem install and bundler. Install it. So once we success, and then we're going to type in bundle install. I don't need to type in the RPNF rehearse because I'm using RVM. Remember, we, I don't use the RPN uh, fee. But if you use it, you're going to uh, type in RP and fee and rehash and now I'm going to type in the next which is bundle and then install by the way while waiting we're going to uh, go to our documents uh, folder again and inside our octopress we will see the files that we just cloned uh, earlier and installing as well so the next step is 
we're going to install themes and source and so forth so as you can see we just have folder called plugins and the configuration files and other files but we wait now until we're done with uh, installing the bundle so once we done with installing the bundle it will say something like this and the next test is the next step is we're going to uh, install the default Octopress theme which is done by typing rake and then install and hit return and it will install us many folder here so we go back to our documents folder again as you can see now we have public folder SAS and source which is uh, done after we installing rake install now here as you can see that we install many stuff like themes and so forth so now let's take a look uh, the result of installing Octopress that we've just done just now so we're going to rake and generate and then ensign two times of them and then rake and then preview and hit return and now it's generating our site and then uh, it's allow us to previewing on port 4000. So let's open our browser again, go back here and localhost and semicolon and 4000 and hit return or enter. And now we uh, we see our first Octopress blocks. Now, I don't go deep to the configuration and so forth because uh, this will be too long for today. But uh, let's say we're going to create new post. So here we're going to hit Control C to uh, quit the preview and rake. If you want to see the documentation, you're going to uh, start working with Octopress and read other thing as well. And here you can, um, this is the syntax while uh, if you want to create post. So rake and then new and then underscore post and square brackets. And inside the square brackets is the, uh, I don't know how you call it, this one, this sign. And then in between this sign, we're going to a uh, double quotes, I mean double quotes. And then here, we're going to type in hello world. Okay, and then uh, hit enter return. And now we have a new pause with, if we open our documents folder and inside, here inside source and then underscore post folder we see that this is our file which is hello world.markdown this is the uh, format of octopress now if we going to rake uh, type in rake generate and, and rake preview again and hit return and then now we go back again to our uh, blog and refresh it and now we have hello world and how we add content so to add the content you can either easily go to this markdown file and then right click it and open it with uh, your text editor something like that or y you can uh, edit it here inside your uh, terminal so I'm going to hit Control C to close the uh, preview and then going to hit film and to type in film and copy the source of our post which was in this select it copy and paste it and hit return and now as you can see I can um, edit it here let's say now we're going to type in our category as new new here and then let's um, uh, type in the content hello world content for example and it's um, to save it which is going to hit es escape key and then um, semicolon and W and Q and hit return and it will save and again regenerate and preview it and go back to our browser again and refresh it and as you can see now we have hello world and uh, the hello world content which is has the category as new so that's it guys for today i hope it will be helpful for you if you want to set up octopress in maverick system and thank you for watching goodbye